Well, good morning. It is Long Haul Tanker, straight razor shaving with Long Haul Tanker. And I am coming to you this morning uh, from the Hyatt Regency uh, Resort Spa and Casino in Incline Village, Nevada, on the North Shore of da -da -da -da, Lake Tahoe. And so this is one of uh, my wife and I's uh, mini vacations. Uh, had a load, uh, as you may know, uh, went to Sulphur Springs, Nevada. We parked the truck afterward uh, and secured it. And my wife flew into Reno and picked me up at the truck stop and we drove up here yesterday. And I've got some stories to tell about that as the uh, video progresses. But uh, we're, uh, I'm on the balcony of our hotel room and um, uh, it is uh, Wednesday, November the 2nd, 2022 at approximately 11.45 a.m. Pacific time with an outside temperature of 30 degrees Fahrenheit. And so here we are. Now, let's just go over the equipment real quick. Uh, we're gonna use uh, this morning for our shave. And uh, snow everywhere. Uh, it, it snowed like a fury uh, late yesterday afternoon into the early evening hours. It didn't stop until later, 10, 11 o'clock at night. And so you can't see, and I may shoot some video of this and attach it at the end, but uh, to, my, to my right, uh, overlooking with, with pine trees all around, just absolutely gorgeous. Uh, we've got the, uh, the swimming pool, a couple of uh, jacuzzi spas, uh, a, a kiddie pool, what looks like a kiddie pool down the way uh, over here, and about somewhere about three to 500 yards off to my, uh, off to my right and down, uh, three to 500 yards is the uh, North Shore of Lake Tahoe. And uh, we're gonna walk down there later today or tomorrow. We're here through uh, Friday night into Saturday morning. Uh, our departure will be Saturday and I will be going down to San Diego. Anyway, the equipment. We're using the Frederick Reynolds uh, pre-1891 uh, wedge. And Sheffield Steel, Frederick Reynolds, 7 8 Barber's Notch with uh, uh, imitation, I assume imitation, uh, tortoise uh, scales. Just an absolutely lovely uh, razor. And uh, I put, uh, I don't know, half a dozen uh, strokes, used it once or twice, uh, wanted a little bit more out of it, and I gave it a half a dozen strokes on the Shapton Glass 30,000. And so here's our razor. Our soap today, as we've been using uh, this week on the road, is uh, Barrister and Man's The Full Measure of Man. Full Measure of Man. And our brush. Oh, by the way, I've got no mirror. Uh, everything I'm doing strictly on the... Uh, uh, the video, the camera. And so our brush is the uh, QED Select Manturian Silver Tip Badger Faux Horn 28 millimeter. Beautiful brush. We're going to let that soak. And you'll get a kick out of this. My uh, hot water is coming from the ice bucket. Uh, we tried to use the uh, two garbage cans because uh, we had some ice, of course, in the ice bucket, and uh, the two garbage cans leaked. I washed them out. I filled them up. As I lifted them up out of the sink, both of them leaked. So that's that. I have no pre-soak on my face, so that's what we're going to use this water for. We're going to lather. Up here. You know, this is kind of a silly stunt sort of thing, but uh, that's all right. That is all right. That's my way of doing a stunt shave. And uh, that's probably the best uh, that we're going to get me to do on a stunt shave. Now, I'm not going to load this as heavy because I think I have overloaded this barrister and man in past. So we're just going to go with that, set that there, and we'll see how much of this freezes. <laughs> in 30 degree weather at 
this hour of the morning. As I say, it was 30 degrees Fahrenheit and it's nippy, it's tolerable. Uh, this morning when we got up, it was 27. We got up at six o'clock and my wife had some work stuff she had to do, being in the Pacific time zone, you know. And uh, our patio furniture, two uh, wooden rocking chairs and a uh, little side table were covered in snow, are covered in snow. And I brushed the snow off of the, uh, off the side table. And there's a layer of ice. I've got the, uh, and I put a towel, a bath towel. On top of that and uh, laid down some, oh, look at that. We got some snow falling. How about that? Snow and wind, the temperatures will plummet. They're expecting a heavy snow late. Well, I say late sometime today. I'm getting a good lather. I didn't lather as heavily. And um, so far the temperature is not uncomfortable or unbearable, but I got some stories to tell you. I want to tell you about my dear sweet wife. She came and picked me up at the truck stop as I say, and from the truck stop that we stopped at, we were at the Love's truck stop in Fernley. We moved the truck because if I get to San Diego backhaul, I would be closer if I moved to Reno, a little closer to Reno. So we moved the truck uh, to the TA truck stop in Sparks, Nevada, about 30 miles closer in. And uh, from there, uh, we were approximately 40 miles from this location at the uh, Hyatt Regency. And it's just been great. Uh, it's not only beautiful, lovely, uh, and the accommodations are just, by the way, I'm using the reflection, my reflection in the patio door to get some perspective of what I'm doing. It's <laughs> not the best situation, as you can imagine. I've got to have a dry towel to completely dry my hands. Okay. And so my wife picked me up. And we, didn't, we knew there was a storm coming in. Uh, we were trying to beat it, outrun it, as we were heading into it, because it's coming off the mountain and we're going up the mountain in the lovely Sierra Nevada mountains. I've got approximately, not quite, 48 hours uh, worth of growth. 
I would say. The, uh, the patio has got snowpack as I'm stomping around here. And so my wife's driving. The snow start the snow starts to come down. I wish you could see, just even off the reflection, the, 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 the green giant pine trees, snow covered, uh, just a beautiful winter scene we've got going on here, or early winter, you might say. <clears throat> And so I say to my wife, do you want me to drive? Who's the truck driver in the family? And so it's snowing, it starts to snow and the snow progresses. And And so we get to with, uh, within 15 miles, according to the GPS that we were following. And by then we're in a full on blizzard. Uh, and as we progressed, as we progressed on, It got so bad that it was near whiteout conditions. Uh, and my wife was terrified. And I said, I'll drive. Of course, we're, she'd have to pull off to the side of the road. And there were several turnouts or pullouts. 
that we could have taken, but she didn't want to stop. And the more that we drived, the deeper the snow got. And I got to a point where I didn't want her to stop because I was concerned that the vehicle would get stuck and I don't, didn't want to have to get out and push. And she was content. I said, you sure? You want to keep driving? She said, yes, yes. And so all along the way, you know, some people, dare I say some women, might have gotten annoyed at my coaching, but I coached her. I said, stay focused, stay under, keep the vehicle under control. No sudden moves. Don't break hard. Uh, stay, you know, slow. Do not worry about traffic behind you. If it starts to stack up, and as I say, there were pullouts along the way and second lane bypassing available and we availed ourselves she availed herself of that uh and bless her heart my wife and i've noticed this you know we've been married nearly 15 years and i've noticed this in her driving over the years that she likes to hug to the right of a lane no matter what lane she's in she likes to hug to the right and um, uh, and she'll sometimes ride, you know, four to six inches over. The line on the right, which is no good, you know, but that's, you know, you try to say something. And <laughs> but, but under normal conditions and dry road or even raining road, that's not such a terrible thing. But when you're on a two-lane highway, snow and ice, or I say ice, it was below freezing temperature. With ditches and guardrails on your right, and in some cases, sudden mountainous drop-offs, Hugging the right is not a good thing. And especially when you're on snow, packed snow, you couldn't see the lanes or the lines, I should say, the yellow line, the center line, or the, the white right line, couldn't see them. And, uh, and I could see that she's drifting to the right. Now here's something else I wanna make mention of in this kind of driving. When you have a right, curve in the road or a left curve in the road it's not just a curve most curves will also have a degree of pitch uh, as you go through the curve there's a degree of pitch and the gravity pull from that pitch will pull your vehicle to the low side of that pitch and so if you've got a right curve and you've got a tendency to hug the right side and it pitches to the right as you go through the right curve, the gravity of that pitch will pull, if you're not careful, will just pull you right off the road. You're going slow, you've got packed snow and ice, forget about it, you're gone.
And so my constant refrain over and over was you're drifting to the right, pull to the, pull to the left, maneuver to the left. And we were, there, there was not always traffic coming at us. I'm gonna rinse my rag out in the ice bucket water. Hang on a second. Oh yeah, it's still nice and hot. And so because there wasn't always traffic coming at us or stacking up behind us, uh, I taught her the value of when you're on the road by yourself. And keep in mind that we were doing between 15 and 20 miles an hour this whole time. That's why it took so long. But we arrived safe and sound. And uh, uh, the value of driving right down the uh, middle of the road. This is funny, the, the reflection in the mirrors, all, uh, mirror, the reflection in the glass of the patio door, I say patio balcony door, is actually serving me better than the video. But I'm having to go careful. Yeah, so far. I can't say it's the most technically perfect job I've ever done, but you know, what do you expect from a stunt shave? This is a vacation shave. This is a, wow, look at me shave. <laughs> Oops. All right, gotta bend down to that little, that little patio table. Look at how much lather I've got. And I didn't lather nearly as hard as I did the last video. But I, maybe I did. I don't know. I'm just, I got good uh, hot water still as I rinsed out the rag in the ice bucket. And so, anyway, we moved along and, and, but she was scared. Let me tell you, this whole way, white knuckled, terrified, uh, going through this experience, driving in a winter storm like that. And I'm yakking at her the whole way. Keep to the left, keep to the left. You're on the white line, get away from the right. You know, and I'm yakking at her, keep control of the vehicle. No sudden braking, a couple of times. We, we did kind of skid, slid would be a better word. a couple of times. And, uh, you know, that, that's, that's, that's a clean your shorts kind of moment. When you, when you feel the back end slide, and that's what I was concerned about when you're going, especially to the right, a right curve with a right pitch on the road and you're close, too close to that right side and the right back end, the back wheels uh, spin out from to the right. And then your, your, the front end of your vehicle goes to the left and you're in a 360 degree spin or you slam into some, another vehicle coming at you
and then there was a toward the end I, I guess we were about three four five miles to the hotel it's still coming down this road and there was a vehicle in front of us going slow driving cautiously and my wife was gaining on her the speed of the vehicle the the, the you know and so I said, why are you gaining on that? Why are you gaining on that vehicle? Slow down, slow it down. And we got to within, I don't know, 40, 50 yards. And I said, here's what I want you to do. Gently, and ever so gently, apply the brake. And I want you to fall back. And there was nobody behind us at that time. I said, I want you to fall back 200 yards. Put the space in there because if something sudden were to happen and he spins out or you can't control the, the braking, if you got a little too close and you can't control the braking, you're going to go right into this guy. I said, back off 200 yards. There's, when you're in a blizzard, when you're in slush and snow and perhaps icy conditions, uh, space is your friend. It'll save your life. It'll save your neighbor's life and, uh, and property. Nobody wants the kind of lawsuit Nobody wants the kind of lawsuit that's going to come. I just had a bloop on my own hand. Because you couldn't keep the vehicle under control in winter-like conditions. Um, you know, and that's a, that's a real thing to be concerned about. Trust me, not, I, I've never had an accident in snow and ice, but I've done so much snow and ice driving over the years in the big truck that nobody wants that. I see some blood coming from somewhere. Not too much though, I guess. Again, I'm using the reflection in the glass on the patio door, balcony door. And I got my mount connected to the glass on the balcony door. I wanted to do that because I want you to see this background. It's just absolutely beautiful. And because you need to get me in the video, <laughs> because I need to get me into the video um, as I'm doing the shave, I couldn't get the angle low enough on the camera to get the beautiful trees uh, and setting behind me, but it's just absolutely beautiful.
And we, ex we decided to extend our stay one day. I don't know if I said that already. We were originally planned to leave out Friday morning, uh, but because of the arrangements with the backhaul, potentially out of San Diego, which would not require me to be in an, uh, an LA to get the tank washed out till Monday morning, we could leave here Saturday morning and get to LA in plenty of time. So we decided to extend the stay and my wife was only too happy to say, yeah, that's a good idea. Don't try this from home, kitties. This is, uh, this, I would, yeah, this is an advanced, yeah, I would not try this, except for the fact that I've got seven plus years experience doing this. I'm, so much of this of what I'm doing is, is root, root, uh, root memory, rote memory, and, uh, routine. But I wanted to tell you that story because it's so, I think illustrative about my wife's driving. Uh, and I, I, as I say, I kept talking the whole way. Uh, as I saw, I was taking pictures of the road. I was taking pictures of the snowfall. I was taking pictures of the tree and the environment that we were in. And as I saw that this right there at about that 15 mile mark, when the snow started getting very heavy and i could see that my wife was in some distress i put the i you know my full attention was to her uh, you want me to drive no i gotta do this okay here we go you want me to walk you through it you want me to coach you along she said yes oh okay good here we go Only one time did I kind of get after her. When she was following too closely behind that car I was telling you about, I said, you got to back off. Now, I did keep talking, and I got a little loud, because that's, that's just kind of my nature. I am loud, and she knows that, and so there was no... was no uh, harshness you know in fact at the end of the whole thing she said you know you really she said you really helped me with this and I felt I felt she said she felt I felt she said she felt safe with my coaching her the way I was coaching her. Get higher to the left, get higher to the left, stay off the right lane, stay off the right lane. Or, you know, right down the center of the yellow, there was a rumble strip. And you couldn't see the yellow line, but you could feel the rumble strip, right? And I said, you know, th that's common enough.
like to have the rumble strips on the right and left side. And I can remember many a time that that rumble strip uh, was my saving grace in driving in the big truck down a snow-packed road. I got a story on that, but I'm not going to tell it right now. Between uh, Cheyenne and Casper, that's a... Uh, That was a wild, wild ride. I think I got another blood spot there. Oh yeah, look at that. I'm looking in the camera now. We're at 38 minutes. I'm not going to do the head shave today on camera, and certainly not on this patio. My fingers are starting to get a little, little nummy from the freezing temperatures. I'm not sure what the temperature is right now. I've got to wash my rag out again. It's just getting all gummied up. Stand by a second here. You know, that ice bucket is uh, insulated and it's keeping my water nice and warm, and it felt good putting my hands down in there. Honey, oh, she would even go to the shower. So today's our first day here at the uh, Hyatt Regency, and uh, we've done a we had a good walk this morning, uh, mostly inside, some outside. There's a shopping area right across the street, so we walked that to see what was over there. We got a feel for the place since we're going to be here a few days. They've got some on-site activities. Stuff like uh, tomahawk throwing and archery. And uh, they're free to the guests. All you gotta do is sign up for it. And there's a guide that uh, that we'll, uh, you, you meet down at the concierge desk in the, at, the, at the appointed time. And uh, then you walk to uh, where the activity takes place outside.
so we're looking forward to a good stay here. It's uh, no doubt by now, it's a little bit afternoon, 12 p.m. on Wednesday. So we'll be here for the rest of today. And uh, all day tomorrow and all day Friday and leave out of here sometime on Saturday. I will tell you, as we were driving slow, my wife was driving and letting the cars go by and pulling, using the, the little pullouts <clears throat> to let them go by, they were just taking off like rockets. And I thought that was foolish on their part. I don't care if they've lived here all their lives. And when you've got heavy snow-like conditions, um, unless you... I don't know, even in my big truck, I can drive 60 miles an hour going up I-25 out of Cheyenne toward Casper, heavy snowpack, and you always get the, I forgot to mention this, and this is important, and that is you always get the, uh, uh, the, the tire tracks, the lane tracks where people are driving, and they can, they can be a good uh, indicator of where best to put, and so as long, see the snow plows hadn't been there yet. They hadn't done anything yet. No, no, no uh, chemical, no salt. No, they don't use much salt much anymore, but. I got to be careful here. Because my face is getting numb from uh, being out here in the cold. And uh, I don't want to accidentally cut myself. And I've got, I've got bloopage off my razor. Just, I got four or five big bloops down there of soap that has uh, lather that has dripped off my razor.
I'm looking at my face in the camera, I see a couple of blood spots there. I can't see those blood spots in the reflection on the glass. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> this is uh, probably one of the silliest things I've ever done, but I'm having fun. I'm not hurting myself too bad. Um, but I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to do the fool's pass across my upper lip. I'm just, I'm just not going to do that. My face is too numb. I'm not going to worry about the uh, touch-up passes that I sometimes do when I think I'm done and then that little extra. And so I'm, I'm winding up here. What I think I will do here in a minute, when I'm done, and rinse my face off, I think I'll dismount the camera and uh, just give you a little panoramic around the balcony down below and just, just see where we're at and how beautiful it is. All right, let's give it a wipe down. I think I still got some hot water in the ice bucket, in the ice bucket. I'm getting a fair amount of blood into the rag. I don't know where, if that's... Just must be these two spots right here. Okay, we're going to call that right there. Put that rag in the ice bucket. I'm going to dismount the camera and just give you a little panoramic uh, of where we're at and what the trees look like. I can see the reflection of the trees in front of me and it's just absolutely beautiful. But here, let's do this. We're going to dismount the camera and Do a little panoramic here of the hotel and there's the you can see the pools i think i've got a good angle you see that patio across the way over there i thought about doing the shave from over there but i carrying getting the equipment set up just right wasn't going to work isn't this just beautiful 
absolutely beautiful. All right, so. Coming from the Hyatt Regency. Oh, look at that, that's terrible. Coming to you from the Hyatt Regency uh, Hotel, Resort, Spa, and Casino on Lake Tahoe. I will see you down the road. We'll probably have one or two more shaves from here uh, between now and Saturday morning. So, uh, but they're gonna be from the bathroom with hot water, not in the freezing temperature. See you down the road.